99999. Okay, and it worked. Unlimited money! Unlimited likes on the video! It's -a me, Tim Jaggerino! And today I'm giving you the updated tutorial on how to use Cheat Engine to modify your favorite Android games for unlimited money and other stuff. As always, all the links down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's go! So in Cheat Engine, you wanna go to Edit, you wanna go to Settings, and then you're gonna wanna change two settings. First one is gonna be in Scan Settings, and there you're gonna enable the last box under scan the following memory region types. The one that says emulator at the end of it. Enable that. Then go to extra and enable read write process memory. I'm gonna enable all of these because I just usually do that. Okay. And now the second important thing is don't connect to your actual emulator, okay? So I'm gonna show you using Nox and showing LV player. So you have your Nox.exe. But the one, the process that you're gonna wanna connect to is Nox VM handle.exe. That's very key. You're gonna wanna connect to the handler process, not the actual emulator process. So go for the VM handle.exe, open. Later I'm gonna show you how to do it in LB Player. It should work with every emulator out there. So you guys already know how this works. I'm gonna scan for my money value. If you don't know how to use Cheat Engine, please go to the tutorial down in the description below. We're changing our money to 75, 275. Next scan. We have located our money. We're changing it to 999999. Okay, and it worked. Unlimited money! Unlimited likes on the video! So I'm just gonna do the same thing for LD player. What you're gonna wanna do in this case is connect to the handler process there, which is called LD9 box headless exe, whatever. Nope. We're doing the same thing, scanning for 300. Again, if you don't know how to use Cheat Engine, there's gonna be a tutorial down below in the description. 270, next scan, 270, let's change that to, again, 999, 999, 999, and blah, blah, blah. There we go. Money value has updated, and just to show you guys that it's legit, I'm just gonna change it to some random number, and okay, and it's gonna change. And I'm gonna change it again, 999, 999, 444, okay, let's do it again. As you can see, it changes as I change the values. 111, 111, 111, and there you go. That's the updated version of how to do this. Uh, of course, this number doesn't look correct. We're gonna go for 999, 999, 999, as is tradition here in the Gimja Grino house. So that's it, that's how to use Cheat Engine as a memory editor in Android games to get unlimited money. Of course, this is only gonna work on offline games. As always, if you're gonna wanna get working cheats in a game that requires the internet, what you're gonna wanna do instead is Google Game Hacks or Hackerbad and go to hackerbad.net. Go to Get Game Hacks, go then to our Hack Finder tool and just enter the name of your game. What kind of cheat you're looking for and ideally for mobile games, especially on Android, you're gonna wanna have a version number and start downloading the best cheats from the best sources out there for any game, Android, iOS, PC, whatever you want. So Google HackerBot or Game Hacks and go to HackerBot.net. Anyways guys, that's it. That's it for this video. This is the updated version. This is gonna work in 2023, probably 2024 and going forward until I make the next video, the old version of scanning physical memory you enable exactly the same settings I just did. And in that case, you would um, connect to the physical memory process. That was the old version. It still works it, if you want a version that works for um, all emulators. But at this point, every major emulator is gonna have a handler process. Now, they're not always gonna have the names that these ones had. So the one is headless and the other one for Nox was called vmhandle.exe, so that's the only thing. If you're not sure which process to go for, just try every single Nox process or every single process related to your other emulator. Usually they're um, right next to each other in the list, so you can just go through these until you find one where it works. These are the ones, this actually works right now for these emulators. This is the latest version of Android, the latest version of these particular emulators. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, all the links down in the description below, all the tutorials on how to use Cheat Engine, how to cheat in your favorite games using Cheat Engine and Android. If this video has helped you at all, like, subscribe, and all that chess. I'll see you guys next time. Gimja Grino out! Bonasera! Bye-bye!